Next up, we have Jamie, the McCargo. And I have been patiently waiting to just throw this joke at you guys. McCargo fast! <laughs> McCar go fast! Do you get it? Cause McCar goes fast! No? Alright! What's up everybody and welcome back to my Pokemon Red version, Randomized Nuzlocke. It's episode 19, and in today's episode, we're going to Cinnabar Island. I'm hyped and if you guys are hyped, make sure you hit that like button for me. You guys are the best. Now, before we get started in today's episode, I just want to get cozy in my seat over here. Okay! I just want to say, I'm losing my voice again. I don't know why this keeps happening. Apparently, I have been way too loud. I have been yelling too much in my commentary as of lately, and it's just tearing up my vocal cords. So, I have been doing a lot of home remedies to try to fix this. I have been gargling salt water. I have been taking steam showers because apparently steam helps soothe the vocal cords. I have been drinking a ton of high-quality H2O throughout the day. I got the big cup because I'm going to need a lot of water throughout this episode. Basically, when I woke up this morning, I was talking like this, and this was my voice all morning. And I am lucky that I'm finally at a point in the day where I can actually speak without my voice cracking every five seconds or staying cracked throughout the entire time I'm trying to speak. But anyway, the point is... I can talk now, so I am going to record a powerful episode for you guys, but I'm just going to try my best to not scream, to not yell. I'm going to keep this episode calm, cool, and collected because I really don't want to put myself in a position where I'm going to lose my voice again. Right when my voice came back to full strength, I just completely knocked it out again, and then when I woke up this morning, I was faced with a disaster. I had no voice, and I need a voice because I upload a new video every day, sometimes more than one video every day, and I need my damn voice to commentate, okay? I need it! So hopefully, I will keep things calm. Woosah! <sighs> Everything will be okay, alright? Everything will be great, the voice will stay strong, I will just keep things calm today, and hopefully we won't have any disasters where... I'm put in a position where I really want to scream. Gonna try my best to not scream. Hopefully today will just be a nice, a nice and relaxing episode traveling from Pallet Town to Cinnabar Island, battling some trainers along the way, and everything will be as right as rain. Happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend, breaking the fourth wall as I always do, and today you guys are getting a double upload. Moon went up super early this morning, and now you guys are getting an episode of the Pokemon Red Version Randomized Nuzlocke as well. Now, I know I said there was going to be a grinding montage at the beginning of this episode, but there was no grinding montage at the beginning of this episode. Now, allow me to explain. Basically, to make a long story short, I just really did not feel like grinding today. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. After I gargled like five cups of salt water, all right, to soothe the cords, I just wanted to record. I just wanted to sit in front of the camera, talk to you guys, do some commentary, and record. I did not want to sit here and just click A over and over again, grinding up the team. That's not what I wanted to do, okay? So, and again, I don't really think that we're in a position right now where it's mandatory to grind. I don't think we necessarily have to grind in order to proceed. Basically, we're going to do some on-screen grinding today as we travel to Cinnabar Island, and we're going to make sure that we train up Chompers and Breezy because they are the lowest levels on the team. If I feel that we get to a point where we absolutely need a grinding montage, then we will do the grinding montage. But for now, we're in pretty good shape, man. And to show you guys that we're in pretty good shape, we're going to start things off with a very powerful team recap. And again, I'm going to try my best to keep the volume at a minimum. Not scream, not hurt the voice. Let's just go with the flow. And I'm glad that I covered all of that. We're four minutes in, damn it. Let's get this team recap started. Henry! Our starter Pokemon, the Rotom, at level 48. Hopefully, Henry will get to level 50 in today's episode. And Henry is an electric and ghost type with the moves Shock Wave, Thunder Wave, Confuse Ray, and Double Team. Next up, we have Lobster, aka Lobster Bisque. And apparently, this is the Lobster Bisque Dance, level 43, Poison and Dark type with the moves Fly, Night Slash, Poison Fang, and Pin Missile. And you guys already know, Night Slash is completely and utterly broken. It is fantastic. Next up, we have Jason, the Mr. Mime. And this has become a little tradition whenever I introduce Mr. Mime uh, to you guys during the team recaps. He's, 
He's ready to go. He's ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? The hand placement is very important for his psychic ability, but he's a level 31 psychic and fairy type with the moves Light Screen, Reflect, Psy Beam, and Surf. Next up, we have Jamie the Macargo. And I have been patiently waiting to just throw this joke at you guys. Macargo fast! <laughs> Macar go fast! Do you get it? Cause Macar goes fast! No? Alright, I thought it was pretty funny. Anyway, I just made myself laugh. I am a crazy baboon today. Crazy baboon with no voice. Macargo, <laughs> aka Macar go fast, has the moves Rock Throw, Ember Strength, and Recover. I am a crazy dolphin, and I would make a dolphin noise right now, but I don't possess the strength in my voice to do it. But anyway, here comes Chompers, the Garchomp, okay? He's no longer a Gibble. He's a fully grown adult in this series. Level 18, Dragon to Ground type with the moves. Sand Attack, Tackle, and Take Out. I still can't get over that joke. Macar, go fast. It just dawned upon me. When I was looking at his name, I go, Macar, go fast. I'm gonna spring that joke on on the viewers next time I record. Macar, go fast. But anyway, I would do the battle cry right now, but it's probably gonna sound like shit. I'll try my best for you guys. Garchomp, aka Chompers, is ready to fight. That's the best I can do. It really doesn't have that gravitas. It doesn't have that oomph, but I tried my best for you guys. Anyway, Garchomp has the moves. Sand Attack, Tackle, and Take Down. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but there you go if I didn't. And last but not least, we have Deep Breezy, okay? Deep Breezy, the Venusaur level 20 grass and poison type with the moves Leech Seed, Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, and Razor Leaf. Why am I talking so fast? With that, ladies and gentlemen, we can fly on over to Pallet Town, and we can make our way to Cinnabar Island. Now... The good news about today's episode, the very good news, is today's episode is going to be filled with wild encounters. We can get an encounter here in Cinnabar Island. We can get an encounter in the route that separates Cinnabar... No, I'm sorry. Let me start that over. This is not Cinnabar Island. We can get an encounter here in Pallet Town. We can get an encounter in Cinnabar Island when we get there. And we can get an encounter in the route that separates Pallet Town and Cinnabar Island. So this route right in between, we can get an encounter there as well. We can also get an encounter east of Cinnabar Island because that's a new route. And we can get an encounter in the Pokemon Man. So we have a ton, a ton of encounters to explore, to try to catch. I'm excited about that. We're probably not going to go to all of those options in today's episode. What we're probably going to do is get Pallet Town, the route in between Pallet Town and Cinnabar Island, and then Cinnabar Island. And we will save the Pokemon Mansion and the Cinnabar Island. No, we'll save the Pokemon Mansion and the route east of Cinnabar Island for the next episode. That was really complicated. I'm sorry that I complicated things, but I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Anyway, we are going to get our encounter right here in Pallet Town, so we're going to boot up the Super Rod, and hopefully we can get a nibble. And it's not even a nibble. Okay, that's unfortunate. Can we please get a nibble? There's no fish out there biting today. There's no randomized fish. Not even a nibble. Let me try putting some better bait on the end of this rod. Let me put some better bait on the rod. There we go. You see what happens when you put bait on the rod, kids? Let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully, it's going to be something powerful. <laughs> Let's go. I want to yell so bad right now, but I'm not going to yell because it's only I'm only going to regret it later if I yell. If I yell now and then later I'm out to dinner and I go, "Um, yeah, I'll have the uh the pasta bolognese. And I won't be able to talk. I'm going to regret it. So let me just... Let me calm down. Oswald the seventh is here. You guys already know. We caught... We caught Oswald the sixth earlier in this Nuzlocke. It was a Charmander. It evolved into a Charmeleon. And then unfortunately, Oswald, rest in peace, he died. We had a casualty. But now Oswald is back. Now we could do the Species Clause and get a new encounter, but fuck that! Who wants to use the Species Claws at a time like this? I want to catch this Charizard. Look at his wings. He is a winged beast. I need some water. That's good. By the way, do you guys like my cup? There's a mustache on it. And I know the mustache is kind of fading over here, but it's still very powerful, okay? It's a great cup. I needed a very big cup to keep a lot of water inside for this recording because the water soothes. It soothes. 
my voice. That's a funny word. Everyone say it with me. Soothes. But anyway, we're going to catch this Charizard right here. I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave. And I'm going to weaken this thing down by going out to Chompers because I believe you were at level 15. That was a crit, but Chompers ate it up. Let's go for a couple tackles. Let's weaken this thing down. All right, we should be able to go for another tackle without killing this thing. Chompers, if you get a crit, so help me God, I will release you. Beautiful. I am not attacking this thing anymore. I refuse to risk it to get the biscuit when it comes to a Charizard. And then, I forgot to mention, we ran into another Oswald when we were on our way to Fuchsia City, and I accidentally ran away. You guys know that if you've been following this series. Ridiculous. I will not use the speed up button at all right now because I don't want to accidentally run away. Let's just start throwing some balls at this thing and we will nickname this Charizard Oswald. Of course, you guys know when we catch Charizards, we nickname them Oswald followed by a Roman numeral. And this is Oswald the 7th because we caught Oswald the 6th earlier in this Nuzlocke. So now we're going to get Oswald the 7th and I'm very excited about that. I have to look up on Google how you spell seven well how you input seven in roman numerals i'm speaking too soon first we gotta catch the freaking thing oswald come on boy come on come to the team come to the team come to papa he came to papa i gotta stop yelling motherfucker i got it's very hard for me to not yell i'm a very vocal loud person we caught oswald aka the jellyfish he's not a jellyfish he's a dragon we're gonna nickname this charizard oswald the seventh because i believe he is the seventh charizard that we've caught on the channel which is pretty crazy we're, we're going to be, in February of 2017, it's going to be our third year anniversary on the channel, and we have ran into, we have used, including this one, seven Charizards throughout our Let's Plays and Nuzlocke. That's awesome. Anyway, seven in Roman, hold on, I can't spell, seven in Roman numerals. How do you spell seven? How do you input seven with Roman numerals? V-I-I -I is seven. So, this is going to be Oswald... V-I-I, -I. so, and you know, Oswald, I encourage all of you to nickname your Charizards after Oswald as well, it's, it's a perfect nickname, it really is, it just represents everything that the Charizard is about, the, the power, the, the, I feel a burp coming on again, what, what is going on lately in my episodes, I just feel so many burps coming on, I'm gonna let this one release into the wild, it went away, it fucking went away. Now I look like I'm lying. I swear, guys. I felt the burp coming on. Anyway, Oswald represents everything that a Charizard is about. The fire, the fury, the passion. Oswald VII was transferred to the PC. And we're going to go ahead and not waste any time. And we're going to go pick up Oswald the Seventh. And I'm just, I'm just so ecstatic. The question is, though, who do we get rid of for Oswald? Who do we get rid of for Oswald? Honestly, I just think the smart move here is to get rid of Jamie, and I'd hate to do that because I just, I just said the amazing joke, Macaro go fast, but I think Macaro go is gonna go slow into the PC because it does not make sense to have two fire types on the team. It does not make sense, and I, I would rather a Charizard than a Macaro go. Even though Charizard doesn't really have any cool puns with his name, like Macar go fast or Macar go slow. But we gotta do what we gotta do. We're gonna deposit Jamie and we're, we're and we're going to withdraw Oswald the seventh. I think it's a smart move. Let's heal up the squad. Hello, Mr. Bird. We just got Oswald back on the team. There's it's always a great episode when we get Oswald back on the team. It's always fantastic. Let's check out Oswald's stats. Fire and Flying type. Now, I don't know off the top of my head if I'm thinking, back in the original, like, red and blue, if Charizard was just a primary fire type. I'm pretty sure he was a primary fire type. He might have been fire and flying, but I remember, I know for a fact that in red and blue, you couldn't teach Charizard fly. So if he was a flying type, why could he not learn fly? So I'm guessing in Gen 1, in the original games, they he was a primary fire type. And maybe this randomizer updated his, his typing to fire flying. I don't know. Regardless, he's going to be able to learn fly because all of the Pokemon that we catch will be able to learn all of the HMs. That's how this randomizer works. I mentioned that in a previous episode. But this Charizard has the moves Air Slash, Shadow Claw, Ember, and Smokescreen which is really exciting. We caught Oswald. The good vibes are flowing. I'm so happy that my voice came back a little bit. I know it sounds a little bit faded right now, but guys, like I mentioned earlier, when I woke up this morning, 
I was so nervous that I was not going to be able to record anything today because literally, I just could not stop squealing. My entire voice was just a squeal. I was like, Mom, what do I do? I have no voice. And she was like, damn it, Vinny. No, that's not what she sounded like. She had a voice. She said, Vinny, you got to gargle salt water, okay? You got to take a steam shower, and you got to drink plenty of water and honey with tea. And that's what I've been doing, and the remedy has been working. So if you guys ever lose your voice... Now you know what to do. So we're going to come over here to this route. This is the route that I was mentioning that is in between Pallet Town and Cinnabar Island. Now, what route is this? This is Route 21. So we are going to get an encounter here, and hopefully we can get a powerful encounter here in Route 21. Can we please run into a wild Pokemon? That would be great. Here we go. What's it going to be? And we run into a Drapion, a.k.a. Lobster Bisque. Now, it does not make sense to have two Lobster Bisques. It just does not. So I'm going to go ahead and use this opportunity to implement the Dupes Clause so that we can run into another encounter so that we can get something new and something that we could potentially add to this team. <laughs> what is going on today? A Reggie Rock. Honestly, I'm scared to even attempt to catch this thing. What if it has self-destruct or explosion? But I would really love to add a Regirock to this team. You're just a rock type, right? You're not ground. I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave. We are gonna paralyze you. Please don't explode. Oh god, please don't hurt Henry. It does not affect Henry! Yes! I wanna yell, I wanna yell, but Henry... That's my boy! Does not affect Henry. I almost forgot that Henry was part ghost type, and that's why explosion does not affect Henry. That is beautiful. It kind of sucks that we forfeit an encounter right there, but after I, I thought for a second that we were going to lose Henry, I'm very excited that we did not lose Henry. So, motherfucker, man. A Reggie Rock would have been great to add to the team, and that son of a bitch had to explode? That is not okay, Reggie Rock. My mustache looks incredible today. In other news. And the high-quality H2O is as high-quality as ever. I don't have ice cubes, though, in this cup. That's a rookie mistake. I should have gotten ice cubes. I'm going to go ahead and surf again. So, yeah, like I said, I would have loved that Reggie Rock. I am upset that it exploded, but I am... I, I would have been more upset if the explosion would have killed. Here is a Staravia. Staravia? I still don't know how you pronounce that fucking thing's name. But like I said, I would have been more upset if it would have killed Rotom. Thank goodness... That the explosion does not affect my ghost type. That is beautiful. We can come over here. We can start battling some trainers. Make our way to Cinnabar Island. You have six Pokemon. I believe that had six Pokemon. We're going to go for a Shockwave. So, we didn't gain anything. But luckily, we didn't lose anything either. So, that was a plus. Ekans is coming in. It's time to do some switch training. Let's send out Deep Breezy. Then, let's send out Lobster. Let's go for a Night Slash. And we will body this slippery little sneaky snake. We're going to do another switch training right here. More switch training. Go out to Chompers. And I just can't wait till my voice comes back so I can do that in all its glory and all its power. Let's go back out to Lobster. You're going to minimize Night Slash. You're still going to die, Muck. Chompers grows to level 19. Continue the switch training. Now that we have three Pokemon... Uh, on the team that are either level 20 or below. So, D Breezy Chompers and Oswald the 7th. We're probably going to have a grinding montage in the next episode. And I know you might be thinking, well, Vinny, you said we were going to have a grinding montage in this episode, and it never happened. Well, I mentioned why. I explained why there was no grinding montage in this episode. But honestly, to have three Pokemon on our team lower than level 20, level 20 or below at this stage in the game, that that's a little scary. Two Pokemon, it was something that we could manage with. We could do some switch training. But three Pokemon, that's 50% of our team. I'm no mathematician, but that's 50% of our team, okay? So we have to do some grinding very soon. Probably in the next episode. I really hope that I get that done because, you know, I know grinding is tedious, but like I said in the beginning of the episode, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go out to Henry. You're going for a seismic toss. We're gonna go for a shock wave, and you just have your... You have your... I was going to say your mitts. Those are not mitts. Those are boxing gloves. You have your boxing gloves pointed high in the air like you just don't care. Pupitar's coming in. Going to go out to Lobster Bisque. And Pupitar looks thinner than he normally does. Have you been on a diet, my friend? If you're on a diet, you got to send me your regiment because I want to be on that regiment. You look fantastic. Here's a Trubbish, and you are literally a garbage bag. 
literally a bag of trash. Let's battle you. Did we battle you yet? We did not battle you yet. Let's battle you. Did we not battle you yet? That sounds really weird. I don't know why. It's just like an odd-sounding phrase, an odd-sounding sentence. Here's a Pat Trap. We're just gonna body you. I don't like the way you're looking at me, Pat Trap. I don't like the way that you look like you're about to, like, you know, direct traffic. You're just, you're in your crossing guard stance. I applaud you for chasing your career, you know, your career hopes and dreams, but don't give me that sass. He was giving me sass. Um, what's coming in? I think it said a Weedle. Let's go at the Chompers. Chompers should be able to take down this Weedle. Literally, we're gonna use Takedown and take down the Weedle. That's fantastic. Let's continue to attack. Down goes the Weedle. Next up is a Sharpedo. Deep Breezy, can you handle this? Can you handle this? You know, a part of me wants to risk it to get the Biscuit. Another part of me does not want to lose a Pokemon in today's episode. So we're just gonna switch out and go for a Shockwave, and you're gonna die. I need to be a lot more careful because we have just lost... Way too many Pokemon in this game. Way too many Pokemon in this game. I, I did not think this game was going to give us so many problems, but it really has. It really has. So I got to be more diligent. I got to be more focused. And I got to be more quiet, damn it. Because I don't want to keep losing my motherfucking voice. I don't want that to happen, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to whisper commentate at some point. If I keep, if I keep talking loud... I'm gonna have to record an episode like this. Let's record like, let's record like at least a minute like this and see if you guys like it because this might be what we have to do if I continue to lose my voice because I refuse to not record. I have to keep recording. I have to do what I do best and that is doing commentary for you guys. All right, I've had enough of the whispering. I, it's gonna turn into like the Pokemon red version ASMR Nuzlocke. That's not what we're doing right now. We're gonna speak because we have a voice that we are able to speak. Here's a Loudred. I'm gonna go for a Shockwave. Please kill him one hit. I just said I have to be more careful, and then I let this Loudred get a bite off on me. Ninjas is coming in. I'm going out to Lobster Bisque. We're gonna go for a Night Slash. That's a crit. Takes down the Ninjas. You look like you are from Dragon Ball Z. These guys are standing on water. They are literally defying the laws of physics. How, how are you How are you doing that? We're battling a superior. We're going to go out to Lobster because when in doubt, you send in Lobster. You use Fly. It's super effective. Rhydon is coming in. I'm going out to Jason because Jason has Surf. Let's go for the Surf. That's going to body the Rhydon. Iggly Buff is coming in. I'm going to go out to Lobster and go for a Poison Fang because that is super effective. We can continue along. We can continue battling trainers. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Sharpedo, how you doing? He literally looks like he's jumping out of the water. That's fantastic. I love your sprite in this game, Sharpedo. We're gonna actually fly back to Viridian City. I really should not have done that. That is not a smart move. Um, no, I don't want to go to the PC. I want to heal up because I don't want to take any unnecessary risk. I want to make sure that our Pokemon are at full health for battling these trainers. Let's go back to Pallet Town. And no, we should have said hi to my mom. But you know what, mom? I am, what am I, 10 in this game? I'm on my Pokemon quest. I'm trying to be the very best, like no one ever was, okay? I gotta use the power that's inside my Pokeballs, okay? We gotta we gotta run away from this Hippopotas, okay? And we have to continue battling trainers, okay? I got no time to stop home, but it would have been nice to stop home and get some fresh spaghetti bowl and Yeezy. That would have been great. Let's battle these chefs. You're gonna send out a Gollet. I'm gonna switch out to Lobster, and I'm gonna go for a Night Slash, and that's gonna completely body, 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 Body the Gallet, that's what I like to see. Gligar's coming in. Gligar. Gligar. Gl Gligar. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Yo, I'm still dying inside my head at that joke, Macargo Fest. That was like the greatest joke of 2016. Hashtag in the comments below. Macargo Fest. Let's just get let's get the comment section flooded with hashtag Macargo Fest because, in my opinion, the best joke of the year. It was fantastic. Robo Pass, it's coming in. It's -a me, a Probo Pass. Night Slash, you're gonna die. You go for the rest. Why are you delaying the inevitable Probo Pass? I love your mustache, but damn, you gotta die. We battled you. I am just losing track of what trainers we are battling. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I am a sleepy, voiceless butterfly right now, and I just want to sprout my wings and fly. Let's battle this guy who is walking on water as well. He is going to send out a Whooper. Shout out to my dude, Whoop Sire. And Whooper is just skipping along. He is skipping along the bunny trail right here. You are not a bunny, so you're not skipping along the bunny trail. You are skipping along the aquatic ground trail because you are an aquatic... Why did I go out to lobster? 
This is gonna hurt. Please eat it up. Please eat it up. You're weak to ground moves. You're weak to ground moves. Oh, he ate it up. Nom, nom, nom. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Night Slash is gonna kill the Wooper. And that is what I like to see. What's coming in next? A fucking Zygarde is coming in next. I don't like this. I feel like Lobster will be able to outspeed, and I feel like Lobster will be able to take this thing down in one hit. Please take this thing down in one hit. I have a feeling we're gonna out- we might not outspeed. This thing's a legendary- no, I have so many levels on this thing. I am way over-leveled. I am way over-leveled above this thing. We should outspeed. Why did we miss? And you're going for dig. That's fine. I'm going for fly, motherfucker. I have a counter to dig now. It's beautiful. Kill this thing. Just kill this thing. Please kill this thing. That did nothing. And you're going to hit me with a bulldoze. Can we not right now, Zygarde? Can we not? Oh, my speed fell. My speed fell. My speed fell. I have to switch out. I can't risk it. I don't know what to do right now. I can't go out to Henry. Because, first of all, Henry can't even do anything against this thing because Shockwave will not affect it because it's dragon and ground. So it has the immunity there. Let's just relax. Let's let's not get crazy. Let's not get hasty. Let's just take our time here and figure out how we can kill this thing. I could go out to Oswald the Seventh. Now, I know he's only at level 15. He's only at level 15. This is dangerous. But none of the ground moves will work on Oswald because he's part flying. So he's immune to the ground attacks. Let's go out to Lobster. Here's my plan. Let's go out to Oswald. I'm sorry. I'm mixing up everybody's names. Let's go out to Oswald and use Oswald as a little bit of a scapegoat so that we can use super potions and heal up Lobster. Because once we send Lobster back in... He will be at full health, he will have his speed back, and we will be able to take down this Zygarde. Now, I can't switch out while I'm binded, while I'm being binded, right? No, I can! Alright, beautiful, Lobster's coming in. Good, go for Dig. Now I can get another attack off with Fly. This is good, we are playing this very well. Can I get a crit, please? Not a crit, you're going for the Bulldoze, but we're at full health, we should eat that up. Please eat it up, Lobster, no crits, no crits. Hashtag no crits, no problems. We might get outsped here. I'm gonna go for the Night Slash. We outspeed! Please kill! We just played that like a motherfucking champion! We just played that like a motherfucking champion, baby! Oswald grows to level 17. It is beautiful having a flying type on the squad. That is what I like to see. I am very happy about that. Did we battle you? No, we did not. Let's go. I am fucking jacked up right now, man. I am jacked up. I am juiced. I am ready to record. I am recording! Obviously, I'm ready to record because I am recording right now. This is, this is happening. <laughs> Makora go fast, damn it. I don't know why I'm knocking the cup, but high quality, H2O. I am very excited for dinner tonight. I am a very hungry... I'm trying to think of an animal. An animal that I've never mentioned before. I am a very hungry armadillo right now. Have I ever said armadillo? I probably have, but damn it, I'm a very hungry armadillo. Alright, do you say armadillo or armadillo? Let me know in the comments below. Either hashtag armadillo or hashtag armadillo. <laughs> the comments are just gonna be flooded with all of these hashtags. It is ridiculous. Please kill this thing, Poison Fang. There we go, it's super effective. Because you are part fairy, and poison is super effective against fairy. Am I correct? Are we done? Yes, we're done. Here we are on the little boardwalk. It's a nice fucking boardwalk. Nice view. Really nice view of the entire ocean, you know what I'm saying? So here we are in Cinnabar Island. We are about 28 minutes in, and we are going to end this episode off by getting another encounter. So I did say that we were going to get the Pallet Town encounter, the Cinnabar Island encounter, and the route in between. So now we got to get the Cinnabar Island encounter. So let's activate the Super Rod. Let's see what we're going to get. Hopefully we're going to get something powerful. We got a bite. What's it going to be? Come on. Come on, show me a Lugia. Grant me a Lugia. Okay, it's no Lugia, all right? But it's an adorable little Meryl, and my family is moving furniture above above my room right now in the kitchen area. I don't know what's going on. We're going to ignore that. We're going to stay focused. Honestly, I'm not mad. If we ever decide to use this Meryl, it's going to be part fairy type. I don't know if it's part fairy type now, 
It probably is, yes. I believe Meryl is part fairy type. And once it evolves, I know for a fact that Azumarill is part fairy type. And Azumarill is fat. And it would be nice to have a fairy type on the team. So we might potentially add this thing to the team. You never know. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see a Meryl on the team? Let's throw an Ultra Ball. Beautiful! We caught the Meryl. And that is an amazing thing right there. Meryl is not a dragon, though. I don't know why it says you're a dragon. Let's find a powerful nickname for this Meryl. Okay, Fighting Lucario says, My boy Vinny, you're my absolute favorite PokeTuber, and it would be a blessing if you could name a Pokemon after my real name, Eli. Well, Fighting Lucario, aka Eli, thank you so much for the kind words. Your comment absolutely made my day, and we will be nicknaming this Meryl after you, because I think Eli is a powerful nickname for any Pokemon. Not just a Meryl, but a powerful nickname for any Pokemon. So, Eli, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it my dude and thank you all so much for the love and support you guys are the best and you guys have been coming through with the support on this series lately like never before it is awesome so thank you guys so much we are gonna come over here and heal up I don't know why we're healing up I feel like we just did this but anyway I am gonna actually get one more encounter before we end this episode I am gonna no I do not want to go into the gym the door is locked anyway I'm gonna come inside of the Pokemon mansion and we're gonna try to get one more encounter before we end this episode, so let's see what we're gonna get. Okay, a wild Toxicroak appeared, and I would love a Toxicroak, so right off the bat, I'm gonna go for a Thunder Wave. Okay, so how can I weaken this thing down? How can I weaken this thing down? I really hate how in Gen 1, when you, when you put status on the foe, you can't see what level it's at, because I already forgot. I'm pretty sure you were in your, like, high 20s, late 30s, early 30s, around somewhere between the high 20 levels and the early 30 levels. I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong about that. Let's go out to Jason. Okay, oh, that's super effective. That's gonna hurt. Okay, let's not go out to Jason. Uh, let's go out to Lobster. Lobster's gonna hit this thing too hard. Poison thing is not very effective. I mean, Poison Fang is not gonna be very effective on this thing, so let's go for a Poison Fang. Okay, okay, good. We can go for many Poison Fangs, and we can't po poison this thing, because it already has status. And I'm pretty sure that you can't poison a Poison type. Is that accurate? If it's not accurate, I'm definitely getting roasted in the comments down below. But it's all good, we're gonna go for another Poison Fang. And now we can start throwing some Ultra Balls, and we can potentially catch this thing. Beautiful! We caught the Toxicroak, and the Toxicroak is not a fairy. You are a Poison type, but we are gonna give a powerful nickname to this Toxicroak from one of you guys after the comments in the last episode. Okay, Daniel Luby, and I hope I'm saying your last name right, Daniel says, Hey Vinny, could you please finally name a powerful Pokemon after me? Because I have been asking for this since Pokemon Glaze. Well, Daniel, thank you so much for the love and support. You have been on the channel for a very long time. I really do miss Pokemon Glaze. That Nuzlocke was just such a fun experience, and you have been trying to get a Pokemon nicknamed after you since Glaze, which was a very long time ago. So, I am finally going to nickname a Pokemon after you. Thank you so much for the love and support, Daniel. I really appreciate it, and I think Daniel is the perfect nickname for a very powerful Toxicroak. So we are going to nickname this Toxicroak Daniel, and I just want to make sure that I'm spelling that right. D-A-N-I-E-L, D-A-N-I-E-L. Beautiful. So Daniel, the Toxicroak, is going to be transferred to the PC. So Daniel, again, thank you so much for the love and support. You've been on the channel for such a long time, and I really appreciate that. You are an OG Kanto kid. So Toxicroak was sent to the PC. And now, we can end this episode off right here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Pokemon Red Version Randomized Nuzlocke. If you did enjoy this episode, hit that like button, leave a comment, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode of Pokemon Red. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.